This week's Ask Dr. Dury came from a patient who had just noticed that at the upcoming ASH meeting, there are four abstracts uh, scheduled for presentation, which are oral presentations, and they all come from the same Iceland research project called I Stop MM, Iceland Screens, Treats, or Prevents Myeloma, which is an IMF-funded project. And so four oral presentations from a single project, I have to say, is pretty uh, amazing. And so this uh, screening project in Iceland involves the screening of individuals over the age of 40. And over 80,000 individuals agreed to participate in this randomized trial. And so this is the largest randomized trial that's ever been conducted in any type of uh, cancer research because the patients are agreeing, they sign through the IRB to potentially have extra bone marrows done, to get extra scanning tests and blood work done. And so it is amazing that the Icelandic people have been so committed to this research project. And so the initial results, beyond uh, just documenting the success of the screening project led by Dr. Sigurdur uh, Christensen uh, at the University of Iceland, uh, I should say that, uh, that my congratulations certainly go to Sigurdur and his team who have shown uh, that they are able to do this, that they have important findings. For example, in the MGUS patients, uh, over 3,000 picked up so far, they found out that the outcomes with COVID infection uh, were not more than the general population, an important finding. They also noted that in the screening, they picked up a lot more patients with smoldering myeloma than they expected. And this is important because it gives the opportunity to intervene early and give the uh, chance for possible curative therapy, part of the Black Swan Project where we're offering intensive treatment early uh, to achieve uh, the best response. They have also noted that in patients who have kidney problems where the kidney function is reduced, that one can use a special system of tracking so that the levels of the free light can be adjusted related to the level of the kidney function. And so you could more accurately diagnose the occurrence of MGUS uh, or low-level disease even in spite of the kidney function, which raises the level of the light change just because of the impact of uh, kidney function. The bottom line is that these are just the early findings from this very, very large study, and ongoing, there'll be many new important observations. One is that instead of using serum protein electrophoresis, uh, we're using mass spectrometry to measure the myeloma protein level. And this will lead to a lot of new uh, findings. In addition, all of the individuals in Iceland uh, who have MGUS or don't have MGUS, we have full DNA genetic sequencing information available. And so we will be able to determine what are the genetic features that predispose to the onset of MGUS and then to the progression into multiple myeloma. The presentations at ASH are very important, but are really just setting the stage for what will be many important observations in the months and years to come.